So in, in uh, using the step drills, you mm -hmm. have to actually uh, develop a party-driven backswing and a party-driven downswing. Okay. Okay. So in your case, you just uh, turn, but then actually you're using your arms to pull it down. Isn't that what you told me to do? No. You said it should be something like this. Yeah. So when you, when you turn your body, turn and then throw the arms instead of okay. pulling it down. Okay. So you have uh, active body motion here. So the body's moving all right. Throw the arms. Uh, before we we'll uh, get, you will get to that. that. Yeah, Let, let's, we have let's to do the go through the protocol. The step yeah. So uh, in stage one, mm -hmm. you will start with the both feet together. Yep. And then so have initial throw this way. And then from this position, mm -hmm. take the step first. So uh, among the grand principles, mm -hmm. this is about the asynchronous. Mm -hmm. You will take a step first. That disconnects the upper from the lower. So right. you have this uh, shift motion, lower mm -hmm. body action. Then turn the upper body. Mm -hmm. And as, no, not that far. Oh, sorry. As your club is about here, mm -hmm. going about here, you have to take the second step already. Mm -hmm. And then the second step will complete about here before mm -hmm. you reach the top of uh, backswing position. Right. And then take the second step. But now, do not pay attention to your body motion. Try to direct your attention to something else. Yeah, I'm very much an external kind so of. So let's see. Let's use this external focus. Yeah. And this is not that educational, but uh, that's fine. As a professor at the university, I shouldn't do this, but it works. Okay. So imagine here you have someone you really hate. Easy to do. Yeah. Yeah. It could be uh, the politicians. Okay. One of the politicians. Sure. Okay. Or it could be uh, someone your rival or you know someone uh, who did a bad thing to you yep. in the past. Sure. So imagine someone you really hate. Mm -hmm. and every time you swing, you are really, getting, uh, getting rid of this person. Okay. Don't gotcha. worry about what your body does. Okay. 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 So let's let's practice uh, stage okay. one. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Now the second step, the timing of the second step is late. It's too late. Mm. So the second step has to be done as you go up, mm -hmm. take this step. Gotcha. So imagine this, imagine this. When somebody walks, yep. you don't, normally you don't walk like this. Yeah. You don't reach I'm good, out. I'm safe. Okay, here we go. Okay. You know, unless it's a dark uh, in the night. <laughs> right, right. Or, you know, the, you know uh, you're walking on, on the ice or something, yeah. then you don't walk like this. But rather, mm -hmm. you just let your body go forward, mm -hmm. and then your foot will move forward every time, so you just keep going this way. All right, right? so here, here I am walking naturally, see yep. if it works. <laughs> no, I don't do that. Okay, so we go kind of fall, and the, f the fall happens first, and then the step. So actually, you just let your body move, right. and then you're taking step. And then the, the feet, same yeah. thing, when you have a side step, mm -hmm. okay, instead of reaching out, Oh, so it's not like, it's not yeah, that. So yeah. you have to really let the body go that way okay. and then take step and also let the body go this way. Gotcha. So during the backswing, as you go up, yeah. you just let your body move this way. Mm -hmm. Then you will be able to take the step naturally. So it's not right. you know, so intentional uh, you know, reaching out, but rather. Uh, swing it, still swing it fast. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Mm. No. So your, your uh, habit is always a, a downswing. You lower your body first uh -huh. and then try to swing. Okay. But don't, don't worry about that. Simply pay attention to the stepping, side the stepping. steps. Okay. So this time I'm not going to tell you anything, but you'll just repeat this multiple times. Yeah. I, what happens is as you yeah. repeat this, you will start yeah, that's some efficiency figuring out it. the rhythm. Okay. Yeah. So let's do it uh, five times. Five times. But yeah. every time you're killing this person, okay? Yep. My enemies. Okay. So, you know, in these five times, mm -hmm. what we basically see is that uh, you are really cautious in, uh, in the trigger motion. Go like this and then slow up. Yeah, so. And then try to put motion. a lot of effort in the down. So I'm going like a little too cautiously this way. Mm. Yeah. So let's imagine this. Yeah. 
you have this overarching rhythm. Okay, feel a uh, vertical rhythm. Uh -huh. You know, instead of just walking, let's say if you emphasize the walk, the up and down motion, it would be like this. You uh -huh. have this rhythm here, right? Yeah. So the trigger motion is also based on this rhythm. So throw up, uh, bring it back, and then let it go. Oh, uh, okay. This is uh, the the so-called rhythmic motion, the vertical rhythm, which emphasizes the vertical rhythm. Yep. So so not so much this way, but more. Yes. Like that. Okay. Yeah. And then keep the feet together. Yep. The stage still we are doing a stage one. Yes. So now what we see is that your backswing is more active. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then put more effort in the backswing. Mm -hmm. And then in the downswing, rather think that you're only putting 80% of your okay. effort. More yeah. effort in the backswing and yeah. then kind of relax. So a little have more. a uh, better wind up action. Uh, again, the trigger motion is really small. Okay. So the trigger changes the whole thing. So you have a good trigger motion with this. Your body have this vertical rhythm, but at the same time, your pelvis has to turn this way. Yep. In order to help uh, this uh, active back swing, let me try this. Yeah. Uh, send the club head this way. Okay. Then I will hold it here. Yeah. And I will release this at count three. So before that, you have to apply the force. Okay. Try to pull it, yep. and then I will release it at three. Mm -hmm. Then with that, you will have uh, active back swing. Okay. So one. Uh, so take a step. Okay. So what? Uh, yeah, so one, two, three, you see? When you have, when you pull this, mm -hmm. and then when I let it go, uh -huh. you have a lot faster backswing. Yeah, and wider, and yeah. Yeah, so because of that, mm -hmm. your yeah. primary uh, goal now with the faster backswing is to actively slow down the backswing and then reverse the direction. Imagine you don't have your arms, yeah. okay? You uh, just uh, lock your arms here, yeah. and then you can certainly do the same thing so you have a good wind up and then yeah. let it go. So again, let me help you. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah. So at each bit, yeah. what happens is uh, you're pushing the ground with the leg, and then with that, you turn your shoulder. Right. Instead of uh, lowering the arm here and then try to swing, yeah, yeah, rather right. by kicking the ground and then let it go. So again, feel the rhythm. Mm -hmm. And then again, pay attention to a backswing, have a good wind up. It doesn't mean that you have to, you know, have a lot of rotation, but rather just a good wind up. Again. Show me what? You use your arms during the backswing. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So imagine you, you, if you lock your arms in front of your body, mm -hmm. and then when the, during the backswing, when the pelvis turns, when the pelvis turns, mm -hmm. you don't have to intentionally uh, turn the arm. Keep, keep the arms in front of your body. Wow. When the pelvis and the shoulders turn, then this will turn automatically. Yeah. All you need is just the flex, so it introduces the cocking. Mm -hmm. So instead of using the arm to bring up, just turn the body uh, and then cock the wrist. Right. So now, let's do this uh, stage one five times. Mm -hmm. yeah. But again, do not put major effort in the downswing, but rather your effort should be in the backswing. Okay. All right, so five times concentrating on, on a, a forceful backswing. Yeah. That, that uh, forceful backswing doesn't mean arm-driven backswing, but rather, remember, again, so in that position, yeah. bring the club head this way. So if I hold it here, and when you try to pull this, that stepping will help, right? Yeah. Stepping away. And by using your body, you are pulling this. Yeah, my body's way ahead of the club. Yes, and then one, two, three. With that, naturally it goes around. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use your arms quickly. You don't have to snap your arms. Mm -hmm. Four. Believe it or not, your swing pattern is already changing. Now, let's focus on your downswing. Yeah. I, I mentioned that uh, you're opening your chest early. Yeah. It's because you always want to make sure that the ball is there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so open this and then watch that and then try to swing. Okay. 
But instead, watch the ball over your left shoulder. Okay? Go up here and watch the ball over your shoulder. Uh, I'm sure you watched the, the movie Happy Gilmore. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, Happy Gilmore, when he has a running approach, yeah. the, at the last step, his butt and the back is toward the target direction. Yep. Okay. So what happens is... Um, so if we see that in slow-mo or we watch Adam Sandler do it, come back around. Like yeah. In, the, that, uh, in that particular motion, when he starts the downswing, his back is closed. His yeah. shoulders are closed. So you will start the downswing with this posture here. Mm -hmm. So instead of early opening here... Oh, now I can see the ball. Yeah, right. Instead, you will shift this way and then turn around. So from here... When you start the downswing, mm -hmm. instead of quickly turning around here, mm -hmm. opening the chest, rather start from here, just coming down, and then let it go. So, more. so currently, your swing has a more inward uh, swing plane. Yeah, yeah, the thing goes like Yeah, that. because you open your short, uh, chest early. Mm -hmm. But when you uh, delay that opening of the chest, so go up here, watch the ball over your left shoulder, and then start the downswing here, and then turn around. Right. I like that cue, and I'm here, and I'm looking over this way more. So what happens is um, during the backswing, you have this uh, shift away, mm -hmm. and then you will have a recentering motion. Mm -hmm. So initially you go away, but you have a recentering motion yep. with the closed, closed shoulders, and then let it go. So you don't have to slide this way a lot. It just uh, shift away, recenter, and then turn around. So you don't have to shift away, shift forward. You just have to shift away and then get centered. Coming back, yeah. yeah. Just, just try to, uh, you know, say you are just recentering instead of uh, shifting this way a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We just leave that up. Yeah, that's just just a swing without this. Yeah. So again, so delay your opening of the chest. And the okay. last one. Though. Delay opening the chest. This was good. Yeah. So delay opening of the chest. Rhythmic, rhythmic. Yes. Is that, I could go over my shoulder here, Mike. So I want people to understand what the difference was there. So yeah, real high. So it, it was this, this. Then here, I'm used to going, okay, now I'm yes. going to hit. Yeah. But there, I was looking over, if there's a stripe right there, Mike, I was seeing the ball there. I can still see them. Boom, boom. Yeah. So that's that's probably because of the uh, the recent uh, development in golf swing. You, people, a lot of people tend to. Yeah. Everybody says like do this. They, they real focus that impact of being open. That's really bad. Actually. So they, they're like, okay, I want to be open. But so I can might, see good golfers are open though. No, but uh, you know, even if uh, they practice this uh, during the drill, right. when they swing, the swing motion is very different. It doesn't go, you're saying it doesn't go this way. When, when goes, that happens, when that happens, that way, then. You, you have more ground reaction force acting on your right foot, mm -hmm. and spin around it like this. Okay. But uh, they will actually swing this way. Okay. They can pull it in, but that's, that's possible. But uh, having a lot of force on the trail side and then try to turn, that doesn't work. So you're saying being open is, is okay, but if you go open too early. Too early. That's actually uh, the killer, it's a, it's a speed killer. killer. Yeah. yeah, and then it just screws up the sequence, yeah. and then it causes a more, you know, a weak backswing, and then you know more downswing oriented swing. Okay, so again, yeah. so I'm going to go stage one. Pick this way, 100% back that way. And now I'm looking over my shoulder. And yes, and yes. So uh, when when you start the downswing, still keep the shoulders closed. And then bring it down, and then later turn around. Yeah. But it's still stage one, so mm -hmm. we're still going. Yes. The motion is a lot better. Now I will. You know, Dr. Kwan, golf teachers will always say, keep your back to the target longer. But with that, they'll say, keep your back to the target longer, and then bring the hands down like this. What you're saying is totally different than keep the back to that target than so, that normal thing, because it's, the hands are not going. Because this is the, the, old, the old school drill is back to the target, hands like this, 
you know, to get, because some people would say, back to the target, you use your hands to get to, to functional swing plane, and then everything comes. But you're saying no. You're you just, uh, so you have a good sh uh, shift away, okay. recentering motion, that's all you need. Okay. If you have a good recentering motion, then you will be able to delay the opening of the shoulders. So um, you don't have to slide this way a lot, okay? Rhythm this way, rhythm this way. Yes. All right, let's film one for your. Yeah, so I'll, I'll record this. Mm -hmm. Is a still stage one. Yeah. Go. Okay, so so this is your original yeah. swing. Yeah, you can see. There's like a hitch in it's there. It's arm driven, and then you're opening the chest early, opening the body early, mm -hmm. putting a lot of effort in the downswing. Yeah. Everything is a continuous and flowing motion here. It's because you are not opening your, your shoulders early now. Yeah. Back swing is more forceful. Yeah. And the, the shoulder opening is delayed until there's been yeah. recentering. So this way you will be able to start using these big muscles a lot better. Okay. okay. Let's do five of those just to, yeah. to, to grain that in. Yeah. Feel, feel that rhythm. Feel that rhythm. And then with the delayed uh, opening of the shoulders. And just for fun, Dr. Kwan, I'm going to do five, and I'm going to try to make each one faster than the last. <laughs> we'll start, off at, start off at about 90, maybe. So again, time. when you do this, don't worry about your body motion. Just to focus on the person uh, right. you're here gotcha. Gotcha. that you hate. Thanks for watching everybody. Click the subscribe button now to make sure that you see all the videos that are coming out that I shot with Dr. Kwan. If you'd like to see all the raw footage, everything right now, right this second before it's even edited, it's about three hours and 45 minutes of footage, including a session that I did with Dr. Kwan. That's a super in-depth, a session that Mike Padilla did with Dr. Kwan, who is like a plus five, almost pro golfer, and also a LPGA, hopeful golfer who is one of the top amateurs in the country came in and did the full 3d analysis and everything and it really got deep into the swing plane and everything so if you're really interested in the next cutting edge of golf swing analysis and also implementation about how to make people better using this information and you don't want to wait for all the be better golf videos that are going to come out and you want to see all of the footage go to bebettergolf.net slash premium you'll see it there Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for supporting the channel, too. Bye. Backswing speed as well. Backswing speed as well. You could make a continuous motion. Yes. It's under your control. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you can have the best combination eventually. Best combination of control and athleticism and move movement. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can speed. You can generate enough speed, but still you should be able to control your movement. Right. But if it's